Hey guys, it's Rich, our Jonathan Timber Frame Company, Maine Timber Framer, out here at the sawmill, sawing up some cherry lumber. And I had a couple uh, comments on a recent video there about, you know, how's my sawmill driving? What's, how's it going when nobody's standing behind it? And what I want to talk about today is the, the, uh, the Woodmiser wireless control. So I'm going to move the camera around. I'm going to show you how that works. And I'm going to, as I'm showing you, I'm going to tell you a little bit about why I like the wireless control. So in a nutshell, here's the wireless control right here. And you can see if you tip it up this way, it'll tell you across the top what the different features are on this. But what this allows you to do is to stand behind your mill. The mill goes down the track, does its work, and then you can control it, lift the head up, and bring the mill back by itself. You can, once you set up your uh, AccuSet 2, you can index it from here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go through and show you a little bit about how this works. I'll see if I can't get the camera positioned so you can see what I'm doing with the controller and the mill. All right, so right now I've got the mill. Uh, it's on uh, position number three. It's on the accessory side. So I'm gonna turn this baby on. I'll turn it the right way. Okay, so first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna hit this up, you're going to see a red light coming on over here, and then you're going to turn your, your main on-off stop, and that's, going to, and that's going to get you started. So if you were to push this button here forward, presto mundo, it can go forward. If you want to speed up how fast you go forward, you can control your speed right here. So as you're sawing your log and you're standing back, if you start hearing that your motor's working pretty hard in the cut, you can actually adjust your speed from back here. Uh, the other thing you can do is once you set your accu set, you can you can do your up control, down control, uh, and so forth. So the other thing you can do is if uh, if you're looking at the mill right now, you can you can set your width. So if you're going down and you see that your log's got a big wide spot in it, you can control and move this as the uh, the mill's traveling down the track. So again, going forward. If we want to swing, if you're looking at the debarker right now, notice I'm going to make the debarker uh, swing out of the way. I think I am. Here we go. So, so there's the debarker. Here's the button for the debarker. So, you, so as you're doing your sawing, you can follow along with the debarker and do what you need to do. Uh, over here, this turns the debarker on and off. Notice that the yellow light came on. Um, so it, this won't allow you to do anything initially if the debarker is on, that's the debarker on position. The other thing that's kind of nice is once you get through the log, this button right here, if you'll notice, uh, there's my log drag back. I get to the end of the log, I use this button here and I drop it down and I can drag the log back. When I want to get, when I want to bring it up out of the way, it's up out of the way. Uh, so that's really, this turns your, uh, your it engages your clutch on and off. So when you want to get into your cut. So anyways, that's a, a quick rundown of the Woodmiser wireless controller. And why you're going to like this as compared to the command control is the command control, you can add a six foot additional section to your mill. If you're like me and you're thinking about sawing timber frames or like me and sawing timber frames, you're going to want more than that six foot section. You're going to want a 12 foot section, maybe even a 24 foot section. And the command control only allows you to do six additional feet in section. So you can't do it with a command control, but you can do it with a wireless. Now, let me swing this camera around a little bit I'm gonna come over to here and I'm gonna show you one of the things when you're sawing along you can see this tire right here and when you're you know thumping right along if you were to follow this mill and walk behind it if you're not paying attention yeah sure than heck you're gonna trip over that tire uh, you could talk about well we take the tire off this that and the other but I tell you what it's a whole lot easier to stand back here let the sawmill do the work and you're just doing controlling the sawmill features from here. When you get down to the end of the cut, you stop, you can remove your board or a flitch, and uh, you can raise your head, bring it back, index down to your next cut. So anyways, this is a pretty cool little rig. The Woodmiser controller, this is what it is. And again, over here, we're gonna push the stop button. I think I'm gonna push that button. wrestle that thing in so you push the stop button and again how to start it really simple turn this on you see your red light flashing over here turn your on off and then you're ready to go that's how simple it is and it's controlling everything as soon as you turn it on 
So is this dangerous? No, it's not dangerous. Do you need to know what you're doing? Yes. Do you need to pay attention? Yes. Don't lie down in front of the mill and turn it on. That's a given. Uh, but in the big scheme of things, this is really an awesome feature. You don't see or hear a whole lot about this, so I thought I'd share that. All right. Thanks for watching. Click like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.